In our back to school coverage, Tulsa Public Schools is changing the way the district handles, handles period products for students. Yeah, it was actually a controversial subject for some school board members. Fox 23's Tanya Motorzitski is live with what the plan is. Tanya. Shay and Sarah, when I was growing up, if myself or another uh, woman or girl had an issue, we had to go to the nurse's office, but they're trying to alleviate that type of stress and make sure everything's in the bathroom when you need it in case of an emergency. When it comes to addressing period poverty and emergencies in Tulsa Public Schools, the district wants to reduce stress and worry for students and faculty. People have bodily functions and they deserve the dignity and respect to be able to take care of those bodily functions when they are in restrooms in our schools. Last month, Fox 23 told you about Cassie Celestine, who owns Period Pantries. She's making it her mission to help bring period products to Tulsa area schools. While parents get school supplies, she was getting sanitary kits together. She says one in four girls miss school every month because of their periods. It's vitally important that girls have period products and staying in school. TPS is putting free period product dispensaries in the girls and non-gender bathrooms. The district is spending $150,000 to have the vendor Aunt Flo deliver the products. TPS school board member Alina Ashley does not think the district should supply free products for faculty because they get paid to work already. Ashley says male students and transgender students need to have parental approval or conversations first before having access to products. But this can be a health issue if it's someone other than a feminine issue, uh, uh, health issue that uh, would be given some kind of product to to hide the fact that there there's a male a child male child may be flowing and and can, does not identify with with uh, their parent of what's going on with their health I think it's very important that parents are involved in every aspect of their child's journey and this item passed five to one and those period dispensaries will go in this school year. Live covering news that matters, I'm Tanya Motorzitski, Fox 23 News.